New overnight, the DPS school board voted to pass a proposal that limits some of the autonomy at innovation schools. Yeah, 9 News reporter Darius Johnson joins us now in the studio. So Darius, the limits passed are going to affect about a quarter of the DPS schools. Yeah, Corey and Gary, the board voted to limit innovation schools ability to opt out of policies that traditional schools within DPS often follow. These policies are things like school hours, curriculum, and even waiving parts of the collective bargaining agreement between the district and the teachers union. The these innovation schools are commonly known for their unique teaching models and flexibility. Those on the school board say they wanted to implement the executive limitation policy, which is also known as EL, in order to end quote, inconsistent employment procedures and limit compensation decisions, end quote. Those who worked at these innovation schools and the parents express, expressed their concerns during last night's board meeting before the vote was decided on. We do not support the CL. We are not clear on why it was created, what it attempts to solve for, and what data was used to indicate there was a need for this. To make change, to make a difference, we have to be in the center of our work. We have to have ownership and autonomy. Now, the board revised the originally much broader proposal after feedback from innovation school families.